Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Phishing is a type of social engineering when a hacker sends a message to trick victims to hand over sensitive information to hackers or to install virus trojans or ransomware. Today, I will talk about the six most common types of phishing attack. Email phishing. Email phishing is the most common type of phishing attacks. Target is very broad, non-specific individual, you and me, and everyone. Probably, hackers also get email phishing attacks from other hackers. There are some warning signs or red flags of email phishing, such as the email greeting and a sign of uh, impersonal. The message creates a sense of urgency with tense language. Email phishing normally includes suspicious links and attachments, and many others. The goal of the email phishing or any type of phishing is to get your sensitive information and do damages to your computer. Spear phishing. Spear phishing is a personalized and more targeted form of phishing. The target is on a specific individual. A typical scenario is the hacker knows well about the victim, such as his name, job title, family, or even his hobbies. The hacker can easily get this information from social media platforms. The email seems comes from a legitimate and a trustworthy source. The email is carefully designed, very professional both in format and content. The email is tailored to each recipient, very personal. Thus, it is tricky to spot spear phishing if you are not careful. Willing. Wheeling attacks are even more targeted than spear phishing. The target aims at very important people, senior executives, CEO or CFO. Wheeling emails are professionally designed. They are normally crafted with a solid understanding of a business language and a tune. Wheeling emails look believable when they come from trusted suppliers and partners. Thus, it is difficult to detect them when a business has many suppliers and partners. Hackers obtain the confidential information or money by tricking victims to click a link or um, open attachments send out all employees' information, for example, W-2 forms or transfer funds. Angular phishing is also called social media phishing, phishing on a social media or through social media. Angular phishing comes in a different forms, for example, a hacker sends out emails that appear to coming directly from a social media. Or a hacker post a message on your social media with a link or attachment. Or by pretending as a customer service agent, a hacker lures victim to hand over confidential information. For example, you complain about a product or service or business on your Facebook. A hacker pretends to be a company customer service and then tries to help you. One after another, you expose your personal information or financial secrets. Thus, never believe anyone who contacts you to help you through social media. Never post or share any sensitive information through social media.
Smishing. Smishing attacks are when hackers use phone text messages to get your information. Similar to email phishing, smishing hackers trick victims into clicking a link, handing over confidential information to hackers, or downloading malicious programs to their smartphones. Last but not least, the phishing method, vision. Vision is using phone conversation to steal your confidential information. Using increasingly sophisticated scare tactics and emotion, emotional manipulation to cause employees to surrender sensitive information. Common vision scams involve a hacker posing as a fraud investigator from your bank or credit card company, or posing as a top manager from the company headquarters, or posing as Medicare representative, or posing as representative from RRS or Social Security Agency. Security threat comes in different forms and sizes. Hackers use all kinds of tactics over different platforms and devices to trap you to steal your confidential information and install malicious programs to your system. In my next video, I will talk about how to spot an email phishing. Please stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.